Okay, big challenge this week, going on the road up to Foxborough. It's going to be a beautiful day, uh, good week of practice, good week of preparation. Uh, we're going to have to certainly play our best uh, to try and get a win up there. And with that, I'll take any questions. Thank you, Coach. Tom Withers has our first one. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Coach. What's the latest with Nick Chubb? We will not have Nick uh, or Dimitri for this game. Okay. Um, you've already – it's not an unknown anymore what – what number 30 can do for you when he's in there. How much confidence do you have that despite being down a couple of guys that the earnest will be able to carry the load? Yeah, I think we've talked about him over the course of the last few games and, and uh, he showed in that Denver game where he had to carry the load and did a nice job. So our expectations uh, for that room don't change. Thank you, coach. Thanks, Tom. Next up is Nate Orrick. Hi, Kevin. Is there anything you can tell us about how JOK is coming along this week and um, whether you anticipate activating him and playing him Sunday? Yeah, I think we'll see, Nate. We, we got till tomorrow at four uh, to make a decision, uh, and, and I think we'll see. Um, anything on the field give you a lean one way or another? You know, he was in there uh, for some reps the last couple of days. Uh, and, and we'll just have to make a decision, uh, like I said. Thank you, Nate. Mary Kay Cabot, we'll go to you. Hi, Kevin. Yeah, was it nice for you to see Miles back out there today? And uh, and how did he look? I mean, I, in the beginning part, he looked pretty explosive, but does he look like the regular Miles to you, even though he had to miss a couple of days this week? Yeah, I think he'll be okay. Uh, you know, he was sore, um, but he looked good today. And, and just in general, your your defensive line, a little bit banged up going into this game, obviously Tech missing and then Malik returning yesterday. Uh, but do you feel like, for the most part, uh, they're going to be up to the task? Yeah, I think Mary Kay, it's going to be a big challenge. Uh, it's a very physical offensive line. Uh, they chip a lot on, on, in the third downs. Uh, they're, they're talented. The quarterback gets the ball out of his hands. Um, we're going to see a bunch of different protections. So uh, it's a huge challenge, uh, really, in, in both sides of the ball up front. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Kay. Scott Patrick, you're up. Hey, Kevin. Um, did you see Baker limited at all moving around with the foot the last couple of days? No, I, I think he's sore, Scott. Um, but, no, I wouldn't say he was limited. And then he mentioned it when we talked to him Wednesday, and I know turnovers are always a point of emphasis. Um, but against New England and how they play, is it even more a talking point this week? Yeah, I don't know that it's more. We talk about it a lot uh, in this building. Uh, they have 16 takeaways. They have 14 giveaways. Uh, they're very, very ball aware in their defensive backfield. Uh, J.C. Jackson has five already this season, and they play a ton of man, which is rare. Typically, you see zone corners getting a lot of interceptions. He's getting interceptions playing man, which means he's sticky and he uh, makes great plays on the ball, uh, really across their defense and secondary. I just think it's a, a ball hawking type of defense. Thanks. Thanks, Scott. Matt Fontana, go ahead. Yeah, Kevin, this offense was built so much on having Nick and Kareem, and now you don't have either one of them. Just how hard is that to, to kind of pivot of what was the bread and butter of having even not just the run game, but having two running backs uh, to now just basically just having Dearness? Yeah, I think it's really any position uh, you can look at and say you're going to get into your depth at some point in the season because that's uh, the nature of this beast. And, uh, you know, it's the next man up mentality. The guys have proven to do that over the course of this season, last season. Uh, so whoever's, whoever's available to us, is, that's who we'll use. And, and speaking of the depth, I think Dearness will, will get in potentially some elevations from the practice squad. But was there any thoughts of, you know, could we see Janovich get uh, back there having to get some carries or Jarvis if needed? Yeah, a lot of people are uh, want some carries on this team. Uh, but, no, we'll, we'll, uh, we, we got – Plenty of guys, and, and we'll be able to run our offense. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Matt. Dan Lobby's next. Hey, hey Kevin. Um, the other running back, of course, John Kelly. Is there a chance you guys could have him on Sunday? No. Okay, so he'll be out too. Um, how many carries do you think Dearness Johnson could handle? I mean, is, can he handle a – I mean, we saw him carry a lot against Denver. Can he handle that full workload? Do you need another reliable back behind him? Yeah, I, I think, you know, Obviously, Dan, we have to have uh, contingency plans. 
And, uh, you know, we have, we'll have a backup. We'll have some uh, different guys that, that can play that role. Uh, but we'll talk as a staff and, and what we think is the right approach um, and make sure that we, uh, you know, use the guys and, and are smart about it. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. Dale, right. Go ahead. Yeah, Kevin, similar to uh, you guys with your running back situation, the, the the Patriots are dealing with some shortage on on their side uh, due to concussions. But um, is their running game pretty much stay the same regardless of who they uh, put in the backfield? Yeah, I think so. Uh, they have a really good run attack. Uh, it's very physical. They can go downhill and run ISO. Uh, they can they run quite a bit of draws, crack toss. Uh, it's it's a varied attack, but it's a physical. Uh, front, but I think they use their running backs oftentimes interchangeably, uh, and they do a very nice job with it. And just kind of curious, I, I don't remember how many times you specifically have been up to Foxborough to, to play against them, but what makes that environment so challenging, or is it just like any other road game where you're pretty much dealing with the same stuff? Well, I think it's a challenge because you're playing a great team. Uh, that with great coaches, uh, it's a it definitely a loud uh, stadium. That they do a great job there. Uh, so we're going to have to be on point in terms of handling the road environment. But the challenge is going up against a great team. Thanks. Thanks, Daryl. Back to Scott Patrick. Hey, Kevin, I know you said your expectations for the running back room don't change, but do you think that New England will approach you guys differently, not having your star top guys in there? Yeah, hard for me to say, Scott. Uh, you know, I, I think they uh, they run a varied scheme on defense, uh, so we really have to be prepared for anything they do. And then with Miles, you know, I saw a clip of NFL Films, him saying he wants to be the best of his generation, and last week he said he wants to be legendary. How rare is that that a player is either willing enough to express that or rare enough to be even in that kind of discussion? Yeah, you know, I've spoken to Miles uh, about – those type of things. And, and he works at that. It's not just him saying it. He, he, he puts the work behind it uh, and then also understands that it's a team game and, and he wants to win first. And then he wants to make sure that he's helping our team win. Thanks. Thank you, Scott. Nate Ulrich, go ahead. Hey, Kevin, uh, I know you had a comment in a news release, but I don't think we got to talk to you about Joel Batonio. Um, I guess just kind of the reaction from the locker room and, and the coaching staff, what's it been like to, to see, you know, a guy who you admire so much get rewarded like that? Yeah. You know, we're rooting for all of our guys. Uh, and, and Joel's uh, been the consummate pro since I've been here. Uh, he's uh, really, really a good football player, but more than that, he's great off the field, good family man. Um, so we're certainly uh, happy for him and his family. Is that is there, uh, you know, I know you guys are locked in on the game and everything like that, but with the with Wyatt and Joel being rewarded, is there any, I mean, certainly coming off a win is a morale boost, but is there anything there when guys, you know, get, get rewarded, uh, you know, from the business side? Yeah, I mean, I, I think so, Nate. In the locker room, I think all of these guys are rooting for each other. Uh, and think it's great when when you're able to retain uh, two guys that, that work so hard. So I, I think certainly uh, the, the locker room uh, appreciates that. Uh, but those are those are like I said, those are two guys that, that work really really hard. Thanks, Nate. Last one for Coach Tom Weather. Thanks, Rob. Coach, can can Penn win at Harvard? How much money did PJB have to pay <laughs> to do that? Of course they can win at Harvard. Come on. <laughs> Hey, I'm, and I'm sorry, I kind of I blanked out for a second. I don't know if we asked about JOK. How did he look uh, the last couple of days? Is he good to go then for Sunday? Yeah, he looked, you know, looked okay, but we're going to make the determination tomorrow uh, at four o'clock.